Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode on making our carving knife. Um, now last episode you saw we finished the bevel um, and we did the heat treatment. So that's now all finished. I've tidied it up a little bit with a piece of emery cloth and some sandpaper just to sort of pretty it up a little bit. And the first thing I wanted to uh, talk about today was I have been having a debate as to whether or not I try and etch this blade. Um, now, using something like ferric chloride, which is what you'd normally use for a, a, a pattern welded blade like this, um, essentially just brings out the pattern of the blade. Now, I had an off cut and I thought I'd give it a try before making a decision, and this is what I came back with. Now, the piece on this side here has been etched, and the larger piece up here hasn't. Now, I think you'll hopefully agree that actually the uh, the non-etch side actually looks much nicer in my opinion. Now this is fresh from etching, it hasn't been um, polished down yet, but I have done that on the rear side. And actually there's not that much of a difference. Um, and I certainly don't think there's enough of a difference for me to sort of waste too much time on doing this. Um, so I'm not going to bother. Um, and if I do change my mind later on, once we've got the handle on, I can always just use something like a small cotton bud or something and just sort of paint it on here um, once we've got the handle on. Um, but really guys, today is all about handling this blade. Um, I'm going to do this first before I, um, I sharpen it because the handle will just give me a little bit more control and make it a little bit safer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, well I've done a fair bit of preparation for this video today. Um, now you may recognise this if you were watching my carving tips videos. Um, this was just a small handle that I made up, um, more to sort of give a demonstration of a particular type of carving technique at the time, um, but it was still kicking around and I figured, you know, it's perfectly serviceable and that's what I'm going to use. Um, so what I've done, um, and I'll link this, the video for this below just so you can see how this was made if you're, if you're sort of following me along and you want to make your own. Um, but what I've done is I've actually just drilled a small hole in here. Um, I've actually stepped this so I used a smaller drill bit first that went right down to sort of the, uh, as far as the tang will go. I then used a slightly larger drill bit down to about here um, and then a slightly larger one maybe up to about here. Um, and what that means is this now fits in quite nicely. There's still a little way to go because I want to be able to sort of tap it in, give it a bit of a snug fit. Um, and the other thing I've done is I've just rounded off the, uh, the tang of this blade just so that it fits nicely with that rounded hole. Um, took me all of about five minutes work with a file um, and it just really helped this to fit. Um, and all I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to clamp this into the vise just so it's nice and secure. And this is going to be essentially a push fit, um, but I'm going to put just a small bit of all-purpose adhesive in there as well. You can use epoxy, um, you can use super glue, you can use pretty much anything you like. Um, but I'm just using this mainly because it's what I had to hand, and I'm not too precious about what type of, uh, of glue that I use. Now, I'm just literally going to stick this in here, blast a bit in there. You don't want too much, just enough. That it will secure. I've smothered my hands in this as well which is obviously really useful. Let me just get rid of this and that's pretty much it. Now all we want to do is just pop that over the top there. Let me just move my camera up slightly so you can see. Now that's, some of that's dripping down the blade that's not a problem. I'm just going to grab my mallet, excuse my head, that's seated right on the top of the blade there. Now while that's setting I'm just going to grab a little bit of rag. So I've now got glue all over my vise which is not ideal. And I think I'm going to take this out. It doesn't need to sit in there once it's done. And you just want to get all of that glue or as much as you possibly can off the blade and then allow it to set. So there we go guys, I mean the glue is still a little bit tacky at the moment um, but for the purpose of this video that's absolutely fine, I've got plenty of time to let that set before the next video. Now obviously this is not the prettiest of handles um, 
certainly in comparison with that lovely pattern welded steel that we've got. Um, but one of the reasons I've used this is because I made this specifically as a knife handle regardless. Um, and secondly, there's quite a lot of extra material on here. And what I can do, and what I may do in another video, is actually remove some of this material, re-sand it back down, just so that it makes this knife a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But from a practical view, it fits in the hand really nicely. You can still get your thumb on the back of the blade. You know, you can still sort of, you know, got a lot of control on there. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, and I think what I'll do is next video we will either do a little bit of work on this handle just to bring it down so that it's um, you know a little bit more aesthetically pleasing um, or failing that if I decide just to keep it as it is up which I think I probably will do certainly for the time being um, we'll move on to the sharpening side of it and we'll try and get a nice good edge on this um, and sort of put it for its paces with a couple of test cuts um, so I hope it was useful guys it's a really quick short video for today um, comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.